Hello. Jack Johnson was the first African American to ever become a world champion, but learning about his journey towards attaining that belt was shocking. It's unbelievable as to how intolerant people were in his era. In many places of the world today, instances range from bad to horrible to even unbelievable, but to say the least, the level that occurred towards Johnson and his people was just on another level of surreal. A look back in history often glints insight into a very, very disgusting place. I couldn't process how comfortable the world was in their treatment of Johnson, yet despite that, every time he was slurred, hated, all he ever did was smile. All he ever did was remain playful, yet not provocative to an extent where he degrade anyone else. His composition was cool, yet beneath all of it there was this deep sadness. You could tell, he was just a man who wanted to live freely. This was the same motivation Muhammad Ali possessed. Ali had said if you replaced women and religion, the story between me and Jack Johnson is exactly the same. The freedom to be oneself, to express oneself as one's own man, to love oneself in a world that gains from another's low self-perception, all of that is an act of rebellion. Understanding this. It is a paradox of this reality if your intentions come from a true, genuine place, a matter not of our trauma and insecurity, but a deep, deep yearning from our heart. Even if they are selfish, the residual is always shaking up the world with good. For more than 13 years, Jack Johnson was the most famous and the most notorious African American on earth, all because he fearlessly pursued his yearning for freedom. His life was risked at every instance, yet all you saw was this same smile. Even if he was morbidly depressed, even if he thought constantly of taking his own life, especially after becoming a world champion, you know, it was just that much pressure. He would never let the public see any glint of it. All they would see was a cool composure and a smile. The ones who don't let their hardship break them, but instead temper their mind, which in turn only makes them stronger, more pure in their expression, with will. Regardless of how heavy their physical world is, how heavy their internal world is, they remain in pursuit of their vision because it's the only thing that makes the pain they experience bearable. With that said, let's now take a closer glance at the footage we have of Johnson's fighting style. The longest boxing match in history went 110 rounds and lasted over 7 hours. It was a fight between Andy Bowen and Jack Burke on April 6th, 1893. Through the early 20th century, it was common for fights to have unlimited rounds, ending only when one fighter quit or the fight was stopped by the police. Holding and hitting was not against the rules as well. With that said, you begin to get a feel for why Jack Johnson's style was so successful. Excellent at avoiding strikes, perhaps his greatest ability was demonstrated in the clinch, where you'd often see him tie up with an over-under position. From there, taunting the crowd, taunting his opponents, using the fighter's ego to have them overwork themselves as he muffled their ability to strike. From the clinch, you'd see him sneak in an uppercut. He was proficient with uppercuts from both hands. Jack Johnson was renowned as a sweet scientist, but his actual striking ability was pretty wild. Here. Fainting in and out, he would lunge in a range with his lead only to tie up and just watch how he pats his opponent on the head, giving him a smile, taunting him, using an over-under position and taunts. It appeared that the more his opponent wanted to finish him, the more they'd end up playing right into his hands, literally. It's ironic, the ego used to bash him for the color of his skin was the same trap he was using to have his opponents overexert themselves in the clinch. While they kept working hard, you know, they were just getting tired, eating punch after punch, not knowing how to deal with this man. All of them just looked so flustered. The double edge to this style, though, was that a lot of people thought it was kind of boring, but he did not care if his fights looked boring. He already knew. People would keep coming back because truly, they despised him for no other reason 
but the color of his skin and his champion status. They hated him, and they couldn't wait for the moment someone would finish him. He was a man who just wanted to be free. Regardless of who you are or where you are from, let Jack Johnson's story teach us that it isn't about your circumstances. Jack's world was as harsh as it could be, but instead, he chose to follow his heart, hoping he could love who he wanted to love and do as he pleased. There is no easy route for this, but the courage and risk was the cost for this man's freedom. I believe the world renowned him as his own man. That's all he ever wanted, to be his own man. If you like more from me, please subscribe and hit the notifications. Thank you if you did. It truly does mean a lot to me. Thank you. Smash like button if you enjoyed. It's good karma, and until next time, peace.